What were some of Ed's compelling experiences and philosophies? Charlie Carr, yeah. Boston, uh, Massachusetts. I, I remember, you know, there's something to be said about when somebody validates how you feel. It makes you feel like, yeah, it's right. And when it comes to validating something like, you know, your life and, and your goals in your life and what you think is right and wrong, it's really, really empowering. And for somebody, the, the likes of, and, and I have to tell you, at the time I first met Ed and began to know Ed, I didn't realize he was this incredibly important person. I just thought he was somebody I could talk to and get advice from. I never really fully realized until later on that he, be, he was the father of independent living. I, I guess I just never knew him that way until later. But um, I, I remember Ed said really, he, he, he was always a soft-spoken, down-to-earth, West Coast dude, meaning that, you know, it was like mellow. He was mellow, you know, but really thoughtful and reflective. And he would let you talk and talk and talk. And then he'd, he'd say, so maybe um, what you mean is, yeah, that's what I mean. So what would he do for me? He would help me to understand that I wanted to control my life. He would help me to understand that it wasn't just people in wheelchairs that needed to be liberated. It was all of us. We're all in this together. You know, when the, when the, when the water rises, all boats rise together. And that, um, you know, we needed to be inclusive of all of our brothers and sisters. We needed to think about um, and this is where I really, I think, had sort of a, an epiphany, was that, um, it, you know, Martin Luther King said something like, if one of us is held down, all of us are held down. And Ed really drove that home. And he said, you know, if one group of people um, isn't free, all of us aren't free. And um, you need to realize that if we all work together, we're that much more powerful. And for me, I think of myself as a, an organizer and a coalition builder today. And, and I'm good at it. I learned that from Ed. Organize, organize, organize. Focus on what we have in common, not what's different about us. And, and rally people around the things we have in common. What do we have in common? We don't want to be incarcerated. We want to have power. We want to have control. We want to have the same rights and the same responsibilities that anyone else has. And Ed definitely taught me that.